This story appears in the September 2022 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia This story is part of Forbes coverage of Singapore's riches 2022. See the full list here. Many property developers pay lip service to taking a long-term view on their projects, and then there's Chua Tian Po, founder and executive chairman of Singapore-based real estate firm Hobie Land. He waited nine years for the right opportunity to start sales of condos in his 302-unit Cape Royale project, which was jointly developed by Hobie and Malaysia's Zoe Properties in 2013 in the posh neighborhood of Sentosa Cove. In July, he began taking offers and with some 25 units sold right off the bat, sales since then have so far been good with an additional 10 units sold. The three-bedroom apartments are fetching a median price of 4 million Singapore dollars, 2 dollars, 85 million, and four-bedroom units going for at least 5 Singapore dollars, 5 million. Even by the elevated standards of Sentosa Cove, one of Singapore's most exclusive districts, Cape Royale's location at its far end gives it some of the best views available, while also abutting a marina where condo owners can berth their yachts and chill out at a private club. We thought it's a uni. We just needed to wait for the right time. The pair decided to lift the long ban on sales as Singapore enjoys a post-COVID boom, with GDP growth of 8% last year and a forecast for nearly 4% growth this year. Real estate prices across the city-state as a result are soaring, including those in Sentosa Cove. Back in 2013, Hobie deferred sales of Cape Royale and remaining unsold units at two other projects after prices tumbled more than 30% from their peak in 2010. Properties in the area had sold above 2 Singapore dollars, 300 per square foot but the slump came after the government introduced a series of measures from 2010 to curb runaway property values. Rather than settle for depressed prices, Hobie turned Cape Royale into a rental property, which generated income that more than offset the cost of holding the development in the past decade, according to Nicholas. Yet the father and son duo say they are in no hurry to sell the condos now since most are leased out, with occupancy at Cape Royale above 90%. Nearly 30% of the buyers of Cape Royale are existing tenants who opted to purchase the properties they live in, while other buyers are waiting for the leases to expire, adds Nicholas. While prices at Sentosa Cove aren't back up to the 2010 peak, at least not yet, residences in this neighborhood currently sell at an average price of almost one Singapore dollar, 900 a square foot, up from less than one Singapore dollar. 500 at the height of the pandemic in 2020, according to data compiled by the Urban Redevelopment A. Some Cape Royale units are fetching above 2 Singapore dollars, 200, according to Hobie, just below previous peak prices.